Have you ever wondered how we as humans came to be so uniquely complex and intelligent among all the species on Earth? Our story begins around 4.5 billion years ago, with the formation of our home, Earth. This was a time before cities, before forests, even before life as we know it. The planet was a blank canvas, ready to host the grand spectacle of life. Fast forward a billion years and we reach a significant milestone in our planetary saga. The Earth's vast oceans, once barren and lifeless, stirred with the emergence of simple life forms around 3.5 billion years ago. These weren't complex creatures with brains or hearts, but humble, single-celled organisms. Yet, these simple forms of life were the seedlings of all the incredible biodiversity we see today, from the humblest of insects to the grandest of whales, and yes, even us humans. So, we started our journey on Earth as simple, single-celled organisms in the vast oceans. But how did we evolve into the complex beings we are today? Moving forward, let's delve deeper into the progression of life from simplicity to complexity. Long before the age of dinosaurs, the Earth was home to organisms so small, they were invisible to the naked eye. These single-celled organisms or prokaryotes were the first forms of life on this planet. Over billions of years they multiplied and diversified, eventually giving rise to multicellular organisms. The transition from a world dominated by single-celled organisms to one filled with a multitude of multicellular life forms was not a swift one. It was a slow, gradual process that unfolded over hundreds of millions of years. This gradual evolution was punctuated by a few significant events, one of which was the Cambrian Explosion. The Cambrian Explosion was a period in Earth's history when a significant number of new species emerged in a relatively short span of time. This was the first major diversification of multicellular life and marked the beginning of a new era of complexity. Following the Cambrian Explosion, life on Earth continued to evolve and diversify. Organisms developed complex organs and systems becoming more specialized and more advanced. Over time the first vertebrates emerged from the depths of the ocean. These early fish were the ancestors of all vertebrates including humans. As life on Earth evolved, so did its environment. The rise of the mammals was a direct result of an environmental shift. The extinction of the dinosaurs likely caused by a catastrophic event such as an asteroid impact cleared the way for mammals to take over as the dominant land animals. This was a period of immense change and diversification with new species evolving and old ones dying out. It was a time of great upheaval but also of great opportunity. The march of complexity was not a straight path but rather a winding road filled with twists and turns. Through it all, life found a way to adapt, to survive, and to thrive. This was a period of immense change and diversification, paving the way for the emergence of a new kind of creature, the primates. Now, let's explore the final leg of our evolutionary journey, the rise of humankind. The story of human evolution begins with our primate ancestors. These creatures roamed the earth millions of years ago, living in trees and gradually developing characteristics that set the stage for the emergence of humans. Over time these primates evolved and diversified, giving rise to a group known as hominids. Hominids are characterized by their upright posture, a trait that freed their hands for other tasks and laid the foundation for the complex manipulation skills we humans now possess. Among these hominids, a new genus emerged around 2 million years ago, Homo. This genus included several species, among them Homo habilis, Homo erectus, and eventually our own species, Homo sapiens. Homo habilis was the first to show evidence of using tools, a significant step in our evolutionary journey. Homo erectus on the other hand, is believed to be the first hominid to leave Africa and spread across different parts of the world. This species exhibited even more advanced tool use and possibly had control over fire. Then, around 300,000 years ago, a new species emerged, Homo sapiens or wise man. We were not the strongest or the fastest but we had something no other species possessed the ability to think and communicate complex ideas. As Homo sapiens we developed language, a tool that allowed us to share knowledge, express emotions and build relationships. This ability to communicate and collaborate was a game changer. It allowed us to form complex societies, invent technology, and ultimately dominate the planet. We learned to farm, build cities, write and create art. We questioned our existence, sought answers and passed down knowledge through generations. We fought, loved, dreamed, and discovered. We became storytellers, explorers, scientists, and artists. 
And so, over billions of years through countless trials and transformations, we evolved from simple, single-celled organisms into the intelligent, complex beings we are today. To wrap up, let's quickly recap the incredible journey we've discussed today. Life began in its most simple form, gradually evolving over time into the complex tapestry of species we see today. We've traced key milestones in evolution and witnessed the remarkable rise of humankind. These developments were not the result of a single event but rather, a continuous process of change and adaptation. Remember, evolution is a continuous process and as we move forward, who knows what the future holds for us? The story of evolution is far from over and we are a part of it.